What is going on guys? It's Courtney and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about this plugin that I found on Plugin Boutique. It's called Scalar. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So to use Scalar in Logic Pro, you have to go to your MIDI effects right here, go to Audio Units, Plugin Boutique, and then Scalar Control. And now it is up and you'll be able to use it with any VST or audio unit. All right, so now that we have Scalar pulled up, I'm just gonna go to the scale section and just filter through so I can show you guys what exactly this does. So for C major, these are the different chord sets. To be able to play it on your MIDI controller, you're going to hit bind MIDI. And now it should make a chord with just hitting one note. And it does. Just by hitting C, it makes the C major triad. Let's try D. And E. Say you don't want to use that chord set though, you want to try some variations or different voicings, you just click on these sections right here. So here are the chord variations. Moving on to voicings. I believe the first voicing is the first set of diatonic chords, so let's try the second. And voicing three. Instead of going to voicing four, let's go to the minor sevenths and ninths because those are the jazzier chords and I really like the sound of those. They have a really nice harmonic. Isn't that super easy? You're so blessed to be able to make music in 2018 because when I was first making beats, this was not around and I wish it would have been because it would have saved me a lot of time. But I digress, let's get back into this. That's just a C major scale. Let's look at some of these other features in here. Say we wanna play some future bass. Click this chord set and bind to MIDI. If you want to change the key, all you have to do is click the plus or minus on this semitone right here. And now we can be in C sharp minor. Or if you'd like to change the octave, you just do that right here. Or maybe you wanna go lower. Very ominous. You can also create your own sets by dragging the chord into this box down here. And then you just click bind to MIDI. And there is a really great feature in this plugin that allows you to export the MIDI. In case you don't really want to use your MIDI controller, you can manipulate it via the piano roll. You just hit export MIDI right here, drag it into Logic, and just let it go. And then that is your chord set. As you can see, this could be a pretty useful tool in your arsenal. It is around $49 on Plugin Boutique. So I will leave a link in the description box for this plugin, but I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you want me to go over anything specific, just leave that in the comment section below and I will try to get to it. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as that a little bell so you get a notification every single time I post. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.